Hello, happy Saturday and happy new year. Um, yeah, very quiet weekend planned, nothing excitement. The excitement for the day has happened. We've been off to the vets with Marley. Um, he had like a sort of cut on his neck, so Erin and I took him along to the vets and they think he's actually been shot with an air pellet, so that was a bit rude. Um, so yeah, so that was expensive. So he's had a couple of jabs, he's fuming with us. And uh, yeah, that was the excitement levels. Um, not much planned for today. We have done a bit of work on the living room that you will have seen in last weekend's vlog. So we will show that to you later. I think we're going to go out for a walk. Um, yeah, and not not a great deal. Content is lacking, sadly. But uh, we will catch up with you later. Bye. Day 54 in the Big Brother house. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Um, we're, um, it's that time. We've not what, done one for a few weeks. What time weeks. is it? It's treat time. Treat ding, time. Ding, 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 ding. Last of our sort of festive treats. We got everything out of the cupboard. We still have about five boxes of mince rice to go, don't we? So we thought we'd yes. finish them off today and then um, next week's treat, treat tasting will be lettuce. And That's fruit. Lettuce leaves. We'll turn it all over We could do an tests. iceberg, we could do a romaine, mmm, delicious, but let's crack back to this week. So, this is our little plate. We've got some little treats, biscuits, matchmakers, and three mince pies. So, let's crack in. What are we going with first, Christoph? Um, let's leave the mince pies to last, let's go with snackage. Let's go snackage. Okay, let's go then. I think I'm missing this box, but you know what it looks like. We're gonna go. Oh, hello. <laughs> matchmaker, matchmaker, matchmaker. What flavour are they? Match. Uh, gingerbread. We've tried a few things gingerbread, haven't we? There was a dairy milk bar that was gingerbread. I didn't like it. No. Okay. Give me the Christmas uh, treat um, information after Christmas. So ready for next year. Yeah. Where's the box? Then I'll tell you how many calories per matchmaker. <laughs> calories. Well. Put the calories in. Nom 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 nom. Just taste that chocolate mouse maker. <laughs> I'm not getting any gingerbread. No. Are you? No I. No. Not getting a lot of not getting a lot of chocolate to be fair. Disappointing. Mmm. Ordinary adventure out of five. I hope that's like one and a half, maybe a one. Mm. I prefer a regular matchmaker. What flavour? Just regular. What's regular? Plain. <laughs> they don't do plain. Well, they just do matchmakers, don't they? No, orange and <coughs> mint ones. <coughs> I'm not a big fan of mint chocolate. Orange is the all. I like a mintero. My dad mm -hmm. likes a mintero. Okay. Anyway. Round one, one and a half, what? both of us. Yeah, one, I, I went a one. I'm not giving it the extra half. Oh, sorry, yeah. Ooh. I'm back. <laughs> That's what we just tried. Quality Street. Never knew that. So per four sticks is 71 calories. My quick maths is not that good. So a quarter. Oh, 17 God. and three quarter calories per stick. Wouldn't bother. I'm not sure what this is happening with this here. Yeah, yeah no, it do that doesn't excite well. me that. So yeah, let's move on. Move, move on. on. Next, Jaffa Cake. Jaffa Cake. Now, I like a Jaffa Cake. These are the orange and cranberry. And so these... none, of this, none of this has actually probably been in any stores or probably no. probably just came to if it still is. But it's just for reference. Take note exactly. for next year. 193 per cake because let's not forget they're a Jaffa cake. It's not a Bicky. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Yes, orange and cranberry. Orange and cranberry. Mm. Always a sniff. God, I love a Jaffa cake. I prefer a regular Jaffa cake though. I don't mind these at all in fairness. But I know I love eating a Jaffa cake like this. Take the cup off. Bit too much information for people like this. <laughs> mm. I like that. Oh, sorry, I do apologize. It's not 190, it's 193 kJ is whatever that is. 46 calories per cake. Jules. Mm. Nice with the coffee, that. Mm -hmm. mm. It's okay. I'm going to go halfway on that, Chris. <laughs> no, two I'm and a half, I'm mid, going for. Mid, midway, you're mm. exactly two and a half. Yeah, I, 
That was enjoyable. I'd be two for that one. Would you? It didn't set the world on fire. I like oh. it. I prefer a normal Jaffa cake. Once you've had one, whole box goes in it really quickly. It does. Right. Not good for the <coughs> Moving for on. The hips. I like a regular pretzel, so we thought we'd try chocolate orange pretzels. Chocolate orange flavour, wheat and potato pretzels, stars, trees and bells. We're not going to give you a calorie countdown per no, star but, or per um, tree or... 25 grams is 106 calories. There you go, Christmas tree orange pretzel. Orange pretzel. Star look, pretzel. Dry. That is not nice. Ugh. I'm not a huge fan of pretzels. I love pretzels, although, that's the joy. Although we did have some sour cream. Mm. They're from Lidl's. Ones this year, mm. which were really nice. But normal pretzels, not a big fan. They are oh, really right. dry. They are god awful. They are zippity no they, I'm getting no chocolate orange flavour. I thought they'd be like chocolate coated, but they're not. It's just like biscuit and... It's dry. No. Nipwa. If you've had those at Christmas and enjoyed them, tell us why. And then give back to you. <laughs> Nil pois for that. <coughs> if you thought you were going to pick them up, excuse but me, I need to drink it. So let me dry. You've saved, you've, you've saved yourself. Mm, yeah, nil pois for that one. No, no. Right then, three mince pies. <coughs> Here we go, three wise men. Let's go with let's start with these so these were aldi oh god i think they yeah aldi specially selected six salted caramel crumble mince pies deliciously different salted caramel mince pies um crafted with ritual butter pastry they're filled with a blend of fruity mince meat sweet and golden salted caramel per pie 228 calories slightly less than some of our others that we've uh, just a bit of a light like, crumble mm. on the top. Let's cut in. It's almost like a little bit of um, gold leaf on the top of that. Probably not gold leaf. Sure yeah, the <coughs> I tell you what, that flimmin' chocolate orange pretzel still trickling away at the back of my throat. There it is. Nice. Looks good to me. Oh, hold on. You can see the caramel in the um, mince pie mix. Mm. I'm going to write math. Oh, why? <laughs> um, mm. They're nice. Ooh, really weird noise, though. Mm. I think the crumbly top is maybe a little bit claggy. claggy. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh. like what? You've got a little bit on your lip there. I'm sorry. Filming. <laughs> but I do enjoy the caramel. Yeah, it's a totally different. <laughs> Taste, isn't it? When mm. the food, yeah, the I'm gonna like you. Warm. Push it off. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give that three and a half. Mm. This is a nice mince pie with a twist. That is a nice mince pie. I think. Crumble and a caramel. Mm. Very good. Yeah. Aldi's are good for the mince pies. I find them very enjoyable. So. Let's move up. Oh, so you do that. I'll tell them what it is. Now we've Ooh. moved on. We've gone to Waitrose. Our local Waitrose has closed down. Being replaced by Aldi. How exciting. In a year's time. A year's time. How are they doing in that store? It's to make room for all the basket aisles, isn't it? <clears throat> so, our next one is Heston's Six Night Before Christmas Mince Pies. Made with carrot and caraway shortcrust pastry with a rich mince meat of vine fruit, carrot, clementine, and laced with cream sherry with a sachet of smoky sugar to sprinkle, which is what Chris is doing. So Pear pie, 220. Heston sugar dusting. This is the pie. Again, looks a bit like the tarts, doesn't it? Good bottom. No soggy bottom there. Sprinkle away, Christophe. Should we dust, sorry? Good 
down with some sexy, <laughs> with some sexy music in the background. Oh, we don't have sexy music. Slow it down with some sexy music. Yeah. Bloody hell do you think you are? Honestly. That's what they do on the TV, isn't it? Oh, you can smell it. M&S adverts and things like that would have been like a little bit... Nigella, with a Nigella voice in the background. In a microwave. In a microwave. So, these two smell very Christmassy. And yeah, nice um, sort of pie. Quite thin on the filling, but here we go. Mm. Oh, you can really taste the caraway. Future Chris here, look at my face. Mm. What I'm thinking is, what the heck is a caraway seed? It's a different consistency in the mincemeat, isn't it, to normal mm. mincemeat. I think because it's got like carrot and stuff in now. Carrot, clementine. And the pastry is carrot and caraway. <clears throat> I don't mind caraway, but it's, I find it quite powerful at times. It's different, but that's Heston stuff. That is Heston stuff. There's sometimes a bit of I don't like being different for the sake of being different. Yeah, that irritates me on all there. levels. Mm. I mean, it's nice. I don't dislike it. I, mean, I can't remember how much these were, but I would imagine you'd pay a bit more for these. Mm. I don't think they'd be worth it. Well, it's a tart. It's more of a tart. It is, and we enjoy a tart. But um, the tart on the one we like. Mm, the slow gin. The slow gin one, I, I think, is a better pastry. Mm. Although I have eaten it all. Oh yeah, no, it's a But I'll go two and a half, I'd say halfway. Oh, yeah. Steady I think it's better than that, Do you? it's different. I'll go with three and a half. Oh, it's not as nice as the salted caramels. Yeah, for different reasons. Oh, gosh. I'll maybe go with three I, then. I think I do prefer overall that style rather than classic mix. Like style. the sort of tart. Yes. Interesting. More of a firm bottom. Well, yes. Indeed. Last right. one? Yeah, here we go. This is the last mince pie of last, the season. Yeah, last mince pie tasting of 2020. Although it's now 2021. So these are Lidl's Six Black Forest Crumble Mince Pies. Mm -hmm. However, I have just noticed, I'm not sure when these were bought, because apparently they're out of date on the 19th of December 2020. Wow, that's not good, is it? But, I mean, what's going to go off in them? Cherry mince meat, cherry and kirsch, chocolate chip crumble. Ooh, that's not going to eat it. Are you? There's nothing else, else around that's going to uh, no. do anything, is there? So. What's going to happen to us? There you go. It almost looks like a chocolate... Did I say a chocolate? Yeah, it's a chocolate chip crumble. Hmm. Looks nice. I think so. Looks interesting. Mmm, you can smell the chocolate oh, poop. chocolate and cherry. Here we go. Oh god, honestly. I'm Your language. I was more worried about the crumbs <laughs> than my potty mouth. Right, here we go. If you don't see us on next week's vlog, we've died. Have a good 2021, everyone. <laughs> Mince pie. Um, poisoning. There's a lot happening. Crumble, chocolate chips, black forest. I think it's too much. Mm. I don't know what it's trying to be. I think it's confused. I think it's confused as well. Like a lot of people in 2020. Out of date and confused. <laughs> Out of date and confused, yeah. Mm. I think I'd just rather have either a mince pie or a black forest ghetto. It's the chocolate bit and the... Mmm, it's not blowing me away, Chris. No. That is a one for me. Oh, really? Mm. Oh, it really is confused. I'd maybe go one and a half, two. But I just, yeah, I'm just not sure about it. What a no. disappointing end. It is a disappointing end. What, what was my highest score on that? I think it was the salted caramel. You like salted caramel, I put... I you preferred Heston. I think Heston, yeah, Heston just yeah. about as well. I mean, the snacks were terrible. Mm. The um, those and these opened. We've still got a full bag. Look, 
bin is where they're going. Well, try and find some of them. Rank. But yeah, it's um yeah, that was ours. So I think as per 2019, our winner was the Aldi. Yes. Slow gin. Slow gin almond mince tart. Definitely. Um now, talking mince pies here. Mm -hmm. Chris follows the mince pie guys that we've talked about before. When we started doing our, I think our tasting bits at the beginning Their of December. Their two winners are in. So yeah, so they've tasted, let me tell you how many they've... So it's the Mince Pie Review, isn't it? The Mince Pie Review UK on Instagram. So they've tasted 500 mince pies, 99 different varieties from 37 different uh, pie selling establishments. So they put their posts up yesterday about who the winner is. So they got a joint winner. And the first oh, of that is Marks and Spencer's Collection. Um, and then the second one is the Iceland's Foods Luxury Six Mince Pies. So you can find all the information on Mince Pie Reviews mm. UK. We didn't try the, either of those. We'll put, then we didn't know. We'll put the link below. But those boys have, um, yeah, 500 mince pies this Christmas. A little bit more than us. But, um... Only just. <laughs> so they've, 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 they've done it really well. Professionals at it though as yeah. well. So, uh, so yeah, all good. So yeah. So yeah, that's our treat tasting done, a uh, festive treat tasting. Next week we'll try and come up with something else that's not, we won't do lettuce. Oh God, how dreary. Mixed salad with Christopher Robin or mm. something like that. Oh God, how depressing. We'll have to see what, we, see what we can come up with. I'm sure there must be some good treats out there. Yeah. Or good bits that we could try and just, maybe some crisps, I like crisps. I'll do a crisp tasting. Yeah. Although next week, need to get back in it back mm -hmm. on it i've kind of let it lapse over christmas which is fine for anybody who is um thinking they've maybe needing to look at expandable waistbands um you know it's christmas there's been an odd christmas anyway isn't it and new year very strange so i think don't stress yourself about it no nope. i'm not weighing on monday this week but i am going to start back on my calorie counting trying to get walks in depending on what happens with schools um and then i'll weigh the following monday and see what the See what the damage is. See what the gods say. Uh, and uh, yeah, full steam ahead then to um, Disney in 233 days today. Although mm -hmm. we have got another little trip booked in April, which is to Bluestone. And if you haven't been to Bluestone, it's kind of like a centre park, isn't it? It is. Um, but down in West Wales. And um, we're going there with... Fingers crossed, still. family and stuff at the end of April. So um, yeah, fingers crossed. <laughs> God. Um, that will go ahead because that was moved from September. So um, yeah, that's all we've got booked really is that and, and Disney, mm -hmm. America basically, and Universal obviously. Um, so yeah, so that's it. So plans now for the rest of tonight. We'll have tea on um, Sky Premiere is Bad Boys. Bad Boys 3 came out last night. So what we'll you gonna tonight. do? Um, so yeah, so I think we're maybe gonna sit down and do that. Um, and then yeah, see what tomorrow holds mm -hmm. and go from there. So we'll see you later. Teddy bye's. Ta da. Good evening. It's um seven fifty two. Um had tea, Tuscan sausages, which was very nice. And um we're about to sit down and watch a film. So we're gonna watch Bad Boys, Bad Boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? When they come for you. you. Um, Saturday night movie. Saturday night movie. We, before, now, we talked about home improvements last weekend. We have moved the living room around. So this is our first vlog where, um, let me show you. Excuse our feet. Um, where the TV's on the wall. And then we've kind of done a little bit. But we'll show you um, the full sort of, um, woof, turn me upside down, um, the full living room and what we've done um, tomorrow. But uh, yeah, bad boys. <laughs> we just wanted to um, show you how we rate films. So I'm going to turn the flipping thing back around again now. Um, but you know when you get to the the film, the following film contains. Now, it's very rare that you get five out of five. This one, I'll turn it around again, is a mere three. I don't know if you can see from there. It's a language, violence and flashing images. What's the other two? What's the other two that we get? Sexual content. Sexual content, is it good shoot? No, no, no it can't be language. I don't know. That's disappointing that. that we can't remember oh, what it we'll is. We'll come back to you on that. We will do because, um, yeah, there's not very many. I had one the other week when I was home on my own. Chris was in work and I randomly went to put it on. It wasn't anything, you know, it wasn't a premiere or anything. It was really quite random, but it was a five. So I text, what's text? WhatsApp text Chris, my God. And um, 
yeah, he was like, don't watch it, don't watch it without me. So I didn't, and we sat down to watch it, and uh, it was rubbish. <laughs> there was no, no bad language, no violence, nothing. Terrible. So there we go. That was, uh, that's how we rate films. We enjoy a strong three. We're going for language violence, as I say, flashing images on this one, and we will try and remember. What's the other one, Chris? I'm trying to, I'm trying to Google. Oh. Not happening. It's not happening. We'll have to come back and let you know it does and um yeah we will catch up with you probably tomorrow now so um nighty night ta-ta <laughs> oh you're out of focus bye happy sunday everybody it's uh i think it's about one o'clock so we just had some lunch and some very nice sort of pulled pork in um some buns um with a sort of pulled pork pack thing I'd bought from Lidl so that was very nice nice way to finish off the uh, sort of Christmas holiday lunches back to salad tomorrow um so I did say that we would show you what we've done in the living room so far so um if you remember from last time we had um TV in front of the window and we had mirror on that wall sofa on that wall etc etc so let me turn it around and uh, show you what we've done what we've done I say the royal way what Chris has done, I've put a few cushions on the sofa and folded a blanket. <laughs> Here we go, let's have a look. So this is the big long wall, if you remember, and in this cream space here was the fireplace. Um, it's actually come out okay. So we just need to sand it down. Um, Chris has put filler on it and stuff like that. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any carpet underneath, but this sofa at the minute does fill it, so you can't see it technically. Um, so yes, yeah, so we've taken out the fireplace there. We've moved the mirror already onto that wall. I have ordered two um, prints from Next to go on the wall there. So this long wall, what we're thinking, we've got one tester pot so far, and um, we're just waiting on another two. It's kind of like a really nice, rich navy. So that, um, this whole wall here will be navy. Move the TV, which was down in this corner. Now we have put Liam's toys here, which has sort of freed up the sort of little corridor down towards the snug. So I've ordered a new rug to go in here um, because, not that you can really see it, but we've run the sky cables from that corner along here. And now we've split the carpet. And I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of, you can see the run in it now. So we're gonna put a rug um, sort of over there in that bit, but it really frees up this window. So we've got the free corridor, which kind of divides the two rooms better. Um, and at the moment we've put Liam's toys in this corner while he's still sort of little and plays in the living room a bit, but it really opens up this window, which is really nice just to sort of, you know, stare out of and look at our beautiful views of the Seven Bridge. Biggest change then, I guess, is this wall. Um, so you've got the room, the door there, sorry. That's the big long wall. So um, this was the wall that had the mirror and the sofa on it, but we've now moved our TV onto it. Um, hidden all the cables away, so the cables run from there, under the carpet, onto the unit. Got a few nice little trinkets, as Chris would say. Got some lovely flowers. Look at these from my sister. Because uh, I rang her last week because I was having a mental breakdown. What is that? Somebody pulled out some of my plant. God's sake, kids, eh? Um, yeah, I had a bit of a breakdown last week about a few different things, so she sent me some lovely flowers just to say 2021 is definitely going to get better. There's Chris and I at the, oh, what's the Flimming Fountains in Rome? I can't remember, Trevi Fountains in Rome a couple of years ago. So yeah, so that's what we've done. So we've moved the big sofa onto that wall there. Um, got some new navy accessories, got a really nice um, sort of throw. We do like a blanket in this house, kids love a blanket. So it's a really nice navy sort of chevron and then it's fleecy, if you can see underneath. Ordered some nice big new cushions, got a gray one and a navy one. And again, a navy and a gray one for over there and recycled some of the others. So that's where we've got to at the minute. I mean, ultimately, we'd love to get new sofas, maybe get like a chaise long sofa to go along there and then put like a sort of accent chair there with maybe a footstool, but you know, times are hard, my friends. It's uh, 10 months on furlough and 
Chris had a bit of an iffy start last year with flipping COVID and everything. So yeah, so we're gonna make do. It's a bit weird having that sofa and that sofa, but you know what? It makes the room more cozy. So I really like it. We really like it. We sat down last night, as you know, and watched Bad Boys and um, yeah, I really like it. So on not very much money, we've sort of given the room a really nice fresh look. So once we've decided on the paint, uh, we will let you know. And once we've obviously painted that wall and put the two pictures, they're a little bit similar, I guess, to maybe that with a little bit of sparkle in it, but sort of blues and silvers and stuff. So hopefully they will look really lovely. So yeah, that's that. That's our home improvement update. And look at poor Marley. Let me show you him, bless him, after his trauma yesterday. He looks like he's all looks all right doesn't he that's chris shouting from the kitchen downstairs but um yeah so that's our uh, that's our update so um we'll see you in a little bit bye happy sunday evening everybody evening. um tea is done with a really nice hello fresh uh prawn courgette rigatoni very nice mm, with very um nice. some soda bread that i picked up from little's the other day talking fast because the battery's going to go on the camera but uh, yeah that's the end of this weekend's vlog we hope you enjoyed it if you do please subscribe on twitter follow us on instagram please right. like the video share if you think anybody would like our videos definitely subscribe so you know when the next one's exactly. out exactly they're usually out saturdays at six o'clock um what have we done today been for a walk oh god what else are we doing in this world um and uh, we've done something quite exciting today haven't we christopher very productive morning very productive morning yes we um we got engaged last december so we've been talking about weddings and all the rest of it and blah 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 blah. um but we booked our honeymoon to this morning Ooh, Ooh, exciting, exciting. Time. so um next weekend it's just chris and i because the kids are with their other parents and so what we thought we would do is maybe sit down and just update you on our 2021 this year plans travel plans and what we've got booked and uh yeah and just give a little update on what we are looking forward to so yeah so that's yeah. it so thanks for watching as always as i say please subscribe and like um hope you all have a lovely week for those that are going back to work um after the christmas break including chris good luck to those that are homeschooling definitely and uh, we will catch up with you next week stay safe and take care see you soon guys Bye. Bye.